Hi everyone, this is Meghnath. In this video, I'm going to explain you how to get started with c -sharp programming. So let's see the agenda for today's video. So first I will discuss on simple structure of c -sharp program and then I will show you what is the software that is required to get started and also I will compile c -sharp code without using Visual Studio and also I will show you how to install Visual Studio software, Visual Studio Community Edition which is free from Microsoft. And at the end of this session, you have to take a quiz on these topics which I'm going to discuss. Okay, so let's get started. So normally, if you're, if you are a programmer looking to learn C Sharp, you might already have some experience on C language because C language is there in most of the college subjects. So if you already have experience in C language, learning C Sharp will be more or less a little bit easier for you. If you're not a C language programmer, if you don't have any idea in programming, even then, it's not that difficult to learn C Sharp. So, so if you know already C language, we're going to learn the same things like if else condition, for loop, while loop, etc. for writing business logic. We are going to reuse them in C Sharp as well. But remember, C language is structured oriented programming language or procedural programming language, whereas C Sharp, C++, and Java are object oriented programming languages. Okay, so just for um, for those who are already having some experience in C language, I'm just going to compare C and C sharp now. Let's see how it will be. So almost most of you might have seen this. This is a simple C programming uh, to print Hello World. So these are header files: stdio.h and conio.h are header files, and the program execution starts from main method and then printf is the method in C language which is used to print the output on the screen and whatever we mention inside this printf will be printed on the screen. So the reason why we have included this stdio.h is that printf method is present in this header file. Okay, so, so it is something like you, in C language we have concept of header files and inside this header files we have these methods and we are going to include this header file when we need to use this printf. Similarly, in C Sharp, Microsoft has done, Microsoft, what, since this object oriented programming language, we write the code inside class, our class hello, and we are writing this inside this. Now, Microsoft has grouped similar functionality classes into, into something called namespaces. So, Microsoft similar functionality, similar functionalities they grouped into namespaces, so multiple namespaces, and and namespace is like group of classes. Namespace is like group of classes. And inside classes, we have methods. So we have methods. So, so system is a namespace. System is a namespace. And console is a class which is present in system namespace. And write line is a method which is present in console class. Now let's see the simple structure of C, C sharp program. So here we don't have we don't have header files like stdio.h we have something called namespace. System is Microsoft C Sharp inbuilt namespace which has inbuilt class called console and this class is having write line method. So printf is same like here in C Sharp console.write line. So write line is a method which is present in console class. So similarly there are so many methods inside console class which are primarily used for doing some function in console window. Okay, so this console class is actually present in something called namespace. So let's see this now. So this is how a simple C sharp, simple C sharp program looks like and we will we will examine more in the next slide. So, so I'm going to explain you namespace, class and method. A namespace is like group of classes. It will be group of namespaces as well. So for now assume that a namespace is group of classes and a class is group of methods. A class is group of methods, although we will see exact definition of class later when we learn about object-oriented programming. So for now, assume that a namespace is group of classes and a class is group of methods. And now the namespace which we are using for our first program is system is a namespace. And inside that we have class called console and console class is having a method called right line method. So, so if someone asks you what is a namespace, namespace is group of classes and a class is group of methods. So now let's see the next slide. So let's examine first now, see here, 
I want to use this. I want to use this right line method to print on the screen. And right line method is present inside console class. And console class is present inside system namespace. And system namespace is inbuilt.NET Framework re reusable library file. So I'm using the system and I'm using, I have to include this because I'm using a class which is present inside this. Now, this is our own class, user defined class. And main method is a place where program execution starts. Main method is a place where C sharp program execution starts. And one point to note here is that in all other programming languages like C, C++, Java, M is small, whereas in C sharp, M is in capital. Okay. So before we jump into the next slide, I'm going to explain you how to create this using using Notepad, and I'm going to compile it now. Let's see this now. I'm going to open uh, open my computer, and uh, I'm going to go to D drive, or or let's take I'm going to for C drive, and I'm going for make and demos. And inside this, I'm going to create a new text document, new text document, and I'm going to name this as 1.cs, 1.cs. Remember, by default, by default, um, this option will be enabled. Let me delete this now. I'm going to show you again. By default, for most of you, you will have this view and options, folder and search options. Um, you will have this hide extension for known file types would have been checked here by default for all of you. So now if I'm going to create a text document now, right click on this new text document, I'm going to name it as 1.cs. Now although this looks like a CS file, this is not exactly a C sharp file. You can see here that this is still showing as text document. A lot of times students used to tell that I have renamed it to C.CS file, but still I'm seeing this here as a text document because you're not seeing the extension. This is actually 1.cs.txt. So what you have to do if you want to see the extensions of files is you have to go to options, folder and change folder and search options, and then go to view and you have to uncheck this option called hide extensions for known file types. So let me uncheck this option. When I uncheck this option, click on apply and OK. Now I can see that this is not a CS file. This is 1.cs.txt file. So now what I have to do is I have to right click on this. I have to rename it to 1.cs. OK, so, so this is my first program, C sharp program. This is empty as of now. You can see that uh, the icon has been changed to C sharp icon. For you, it might not change if you don't have Visual Studio. So I have Visual Studio installed, so it's changed to C sharp. So even if you don't have Visual Studio for this demo, you don't need Visual Studio actually. So now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to right click on this, open with notepad. I'm going to write some code now. Let's see this now. I'm going to write here using system class. Hello, this is my class, user defined class, class. Hello, almost everything we have to write inside a class now. And then program execution for C sharp starts in main method. So public static void main. So don't worry about public static wide I mean um, as of now the keywords we'll understand later when we learn about object oriented programming and here I'm going to write here console dot right line I'm going to write hello world okay now I'm going to write here so this is all I have I had to write now I'm going to save it now I saved it now let's see how to compile it now along with operating system when you install dotnet uh, Visual Studio sorry, when you install Windows operating system in your machine, along with the operating system, we get .NET Framework installed. Let's say this now. I'm going to go for C drive, Windows, Microsoft .NET Framework, and my system is 64-bit, so I'm looking in 64 Framework 64 folder, and version 4.0. And inside that, this is the folder where I have my .NET Framework installed. So this comes with operating system. Okay, so, so now if by mistake, okay. So now, um, now I have this path, C Windows Microsoft .NET Framework version 4.0. And inside this, you will see a lot of reusable components. These are all part of .NET Framework library. And if you see here, there is something called system.dll, which we are using for our current project. See here, system.dll is a reusable framework library file. And we will see what is this DLL or how to create this DLL files, how to create a class library. So all these things we will see later. For now, we are going to reuse the system.dll and 
and there is something called CSE. CSE.exe is our compiler. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to open command prompt. So to compile this, so I'm going to open in the run command, I'm going to type CMD and open command prompt. And once I open the command prompt, I'm going to I'm going to the folder where I saved my my C sharp code. So let's go to that folder. So where did I save it? I saved that file in in this path. C colon win make and demos. So what I'll do now is I need to go to that path. So what I need to do C colon slash make slash demos. So now I'm going to type here cd dot dot cd dot dot cd make and cd demos. So now I'm in this path exactly. I'm in the path where my files are there. C colon make and demos and I am here C colon make and demos folder. Now what I need to do is my file is there here one dot cs. Now first thing is I have to ensure that I save this file. File save. I saved it. Now let's try to compile it. Where is my C sharp compiler? My C sharp compiler is in this path. So I'm going to copy this path and and paste it in the command prompt. Paste it in the command prompt slash csc.exe is my compiler, C sharp compiler. Space. Space. I'm going to compile my file. What is my file name? My file name is 1.cs. So let's see this now. See here, I'm going to compile now using C sharp compiler, which is present in this path. Okay. Now I'm going to compile this file. Now I'm going to type here 1.cs. Now it's compiling. And once it is compiled, you can notice here that one more file will be created. One more file will be created. Exe file will be created. See now, using this, an exe file got created just now. Enough. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to type just one. That will execute my exe file. And you can see the output here as hello world. Okay. So we just written a simple C sharp program and we compiled it using .NET Frameworks C sharp compiler in the command prompt and we saw the output. So in case if you do any mistake, right, let's take for example, C sharp is case sensitive. So normally most of the time students do do mistake like they type system system yes in small letter. So let's see what happens when I type S in small letter. Now I'm going to compile it again. So I'm just pressing up arrow now. You can see that now I'm getting the command. So path of CSE and 1.cs. Let me compile it now. I might see an error now. See here, the type on namespace system could not be found because for system, yes, is capital letter. Okay, so I'm getting an error. Are you missing using directory? So now what I have to do is I have to change it. So I just changed yes capital and saved it and let's compile it again. Now I don't see any errors and you can see that um, this exe file got refreshed latest time. Let me delete this. Now what I will do now is I'm going to show you one more error now. I'm, I'm missing this right line L small letter, which normally most of the students do this mistake. Now let's save it. And let me compile it now. Now I'm getting an error saying like console system.console does not contain definition for right line. So there is no method inside console class with right line. L is small. So, so this is how you can understand even it shows exactly uh, where it is getting an error. So it's going 6th row and 13th column. So you can see here, I'm going to 2nd row, 3rd row, 4th row, 5th row, and 6th row. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So this is right line method which is showing an error. So we have to correct it now. So let me correct it now to right line yell small, yell capital, and save it. And let's see this now. So you can see here exe file got created now which I deleted some time back. Now, if I want to execute it, I just need to type 1.cs. See here, I'm seeing the output hello world. So this is a simple c -sharp program. First, you need to write the namespace. System is a namespace. And hello is our own class. And main method is a place where execution starts. And console.writeline is used to print on the screen. Something similar to if you would have, if you are a, a, a programmer already, so you might have seen, let's take for example, in, in C, C language, it is like printf, hello. 
and in C++ it is C out C out and then it's going to be hello and if it's if you are Java programmer system dot out dot println and and you're going to write hello and similarly in C sharp it is console dot write line hello okay so so console is a class which is present inside namespace system so see here let's examine this program now console is a class which is present in system namespace and that is the reason we need to include this using system okay so in java we write import java dot star in c sharp we write using system and console is a class which is present in system write line is a method which is present in console class so this is a simple c sharp program and we compile it using command prompt and now let's see what is in store for us in the next slide okay so we just saw the demo and now let's see how to install Visual Studio so as of now we have done in notepad so it's really difficult for us to remember all these namespaces all the methods and all so so we're not going to use notepad for learning C sharp from next uh, next video so we will be using a software called Visual Studio Community Edition so so let's see how to install Visual Studio Community Edition now okay so you're seeing my channel in YouTube so I have shown you how to I have created a video where you can actually uh, see how to install Visual Studio 2013 Community Edition okay so you can go through this video and this will give you an idea of how to install how to download and install Visual Studio Community Edition okay so now let's say you're going to learn in the next video I'm going to show you I'm going to explain you about number system and memory units this is required why we need to learn about number system and memory units is because to understand data types in C sharp we need to have very good knowledge on number system and memory units so for that reason I have explained in the next lecture so now it's time for you to take quiz and in the description of my YouTube video of this which you are watching now um, you will have questions uh, around 8 to 10 questions which you have to answer and to test your knowledge to test what you have learned in this video okay so subscribe for more channels subscribe for more videos and thanks for watching that's all from my side for now. Thank you.